The indications for sentinel lymph node biopsy are several. If a patient is diagnosed by core biopsy with an invasive uh, breast cancer, then sentinel lymph node biopsy is important in staging the axilla and staging the patient to see if the cancer has gone from the breast to the axilla, therefore upgrading the stage of the patient uh, to certainly at least uh, stage two. Now questions come up about the use of, of sentinel lymph node biopsy if somebody has in situ breast cancer. It's kind of a tricky question and one that we as breast cancer surgeons actually debate a fair amount among ourselves. And let me sort of summarize what I think the thinking on that is. Well, number one, if you've got a small low grade or small intermediate grade in situ breast cancer, um, there are no indications for performing sentinel lymph node biopsy in that set of circumstances. However, it gets trickier with high-grade DCIS, particularly if the imaging studies suggest that possibly there may be an invasive area associated with that high-grade DCIS. And particularly, the bigger the area of the high-grade DCIS, the more concerned we all are that there may be uh, involvement of the sentinel lymph nodes. Now, where does this become important? It becomes important, particularly if a patient's going to have a mastectomy. Uh, we could argue that if the patient's gonna have a lumpectomy, and at that lumpectomy, we find invasive cancer, that we could go back secondarily at a second surgery and do the sentinel technique at that point. And that is true, we can do it that way. There's a little fall off in accuracy because of the disruption of some of the lymphatics in the breast, but the bottom line is that after a lumpectomy, if we find an invasive cancer that we didn't expect, yes, we could go back and do a subsequent sentinel lymph node biopsy. If a patient's having a mastectomy, we can't do that. Our, our bridges are burnt at that point. And so in a, an example question that I got recently uh, about my doctor, my core biopsy is unclear whether I have in situ or invasive. I think if you're unclear, given the low side effects of doing sentinel node biopsy, then I think the smart thing to do is a sentinel node biopsy if you're going to have a mastectomy, because frankly, if you find an invasive cancer, we can't do the sentinel lymph node biopsy later on. Um, those are sort of the big areas of, of discussion and debate. One other area of debate is if we're doing a prophylactic mastectomy on the other side, is there a role for sentinel node biopsy? The answer is usually no, and there are now reports out that support that, particularly if a patient's had breast MRI, and the breast MRI of the other side is negative, the mammograms are negative, um, the, the odds that there is a hidden uh, invasive cancer uh, when you're doing the prophylactic mastectomy are, are virtually zero, but again, in my line of work, we never say never and we never say always. But the odds are so low that it's hard to justify with a prophylactic, upfront, no cancer kind of mastectomy doing a sentinel lymph node biopsy. So I hope that clears up the issues of the indications of a sentinel lymph node biopsy, some of the debate around the subject. Done my best to try and share that information with you. Thanks so much. Hi, I'm Dr. Jay Harness, and I want to share with you important information that I believe that every newly diagnosed patient with breast cancer needs to know. I'm a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. I am a breast cancer survivor. And I want every woman to know about personalized breast cancer treatment and the genomic test. A test that helps guide a woman and her doctor to the best treatment options for her. Pass it on.